And there's lots of, um, you know, some, uh, some, I think, you know, apocryphal stories about entrepreneurs who, you know, didn't listen to the naysayers, right? They, they believed in what they were doing, they, they, they charged on, they pressed through, uh, and that's great when they succeed. But for everyone that succeeds, there's 99 that yeah. pressed on, even though everybody told them there's no business there, man. That's a great idea, but there's no business there. Yeah. No, that, that's what Steve Jobs said. Don't listen to them. So I'm not gonna listen to you, and I'm gonna keep doing this. And I think that's why it's really important for entrepreneurs to find advisors. People who will give them honest feedback and challenge them on their assumptions. So you're an advisor. Uh, how would you encourage other founders to approach possible advisors? Yeah, so I thought a lot about that. Um, partly from just the experience of being approached by uh, a number of folks and, and how I deal with that and what I like to see and what I think is effective and, and seeing other things work. And actually, I wrote a piece about this in, I forget, uh, GeekWire or XCon or something. Um, I think you need to first establish relevance for the person you want to get, right? And understand that there are tiers. You may want to go get Jonathan Spazzato as your your advisor, Jonathan's awesome, smart guy, humble guy, love Jonathan. Uh, you may be too early for him, right? Yeah. So if he's at one tier, who's, who's a tier down or two tiers down? And I think if you think about where you're at realistically, acknowledging your limitations, where you're at and where you need to go, and you know, figure out who within arm's reach is you know, either at the same level, because you can get a lot of value out of just kind of collaborating, and who's like a level up. If you find yourself like trying to go after, you know, some Andy Sack. I want Andy Sack. Yeah. I had one guy, hey, hey Bob, you know Andy, right? I'm like, yeah, I know Andy. Hey, we'd love to get him as an advisor. And I'm like, yeah, you and everybody else, right? Um, I'm like, and I was just very frank. I said, you, you guys are not ready for Andy, right? You don't have a product customers, right? I mean, you might get a 15 minute phone conversation with Andy if you're lucky. I, I might be able to make that happen, but that's not who you need, right? You need to find someone who's a, solved the problems that you're currently working on. Because the kind of problems that you know, Andy and Dan Shapiro and, and these other, the kinds of problems they can solve for you uh, are the, the best use of their time is the really hard advanced problems. Not like, yeah, you should go talk to customers, right? Go have coffee with Andy, what's he gonna tell you? Go talk to customers, right? Uh, so finding a good fit for an advisor and then being very respectful of their time and being methodical about the way you ask for help. Deliberate and thoughtful. Pick that advisor, right? That's the guy I want, right? Like, Hey, you're awesome. Will you be my advisor? Yeah. Right? There's a lot of people who are terrific advisors for startups uh, who are not celebrities and have never done a startup before. Industry experts are yeah. some of your, your most solid advisors. Would you suggest problems. having a number of them? <clears throat> oh, yeah, you got to have a number. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to have different kinds of problems, and not very many people are really good at everything. Yeah. So you need to find someone who understands sales in your space, understands product in your space, understands the technology, uh, understands different components of your business. And, and make a list, and you can have, you know, there's no reason why you can't have 10, 20 you know, informal advisors. Just people say, yeah, if you need help, you can call me. Yeah.